My name is Paul Robichon, and I grew up in a family of eight children. I had an older brother who was 18 months old, and he drowned in Hicks Lake. And my dad, he dealt with it by starting to drink. He never, never had violent outbursts or anything. He just would go home and sit and drink and be real quiet. And it was his way of numbing his pain. Uh, my mom, on the other hand, she just kept real busy. She immersed herself in working for the two family-owned businesses that they started. Uh, 1988, my mom got sick, came down with cancer, and she was very a bitter person against God and against uh, the church as a whole. She was a little bit um, angry about everything that had happened in their lifetime. And my wife and I uh, got saved a few years before my mom got sick. And she didn't want to hear about it, but she did notice a change in both of us. On hospice, each of us kids would take turns being with her. And I would ask her each time I sat with her, can I read scriptures? Can I share the gospel with you? And it was always no. And then finally one day she said, yes. I got to read her some scriptures and I got to you know, I'll share with her how much God loves her. She embraced it, she accepted Christ. And the next day, my sister went over and visited. My mom says, I went to church yesterday. And she said, the voices that I heard singing were amazing. So, so for her to say she went to church was obviously something that she had envisioned. I believe God gave her a glimpse of what she was in for. And it was exactly a week later to the day that she passed away. Well, my dad, it was a few years after mom died that he went to AA and actually quit drinking. But he did, through AA, turn back to God. And he started to have that relationship with God again. And it was a wonderful thing to see him not drinking, him being more involved with his family and his grandchildren. He developed Alzheimer's. The first thing he said is, I refuse to be angry about this. And he lived that model till the day he died. And I truly believe it was because God intervened in his life. God has never given up on you, so don't give up on God. You know, he never gave up on my mom. He never gave up on my dad. And it's been one example of Christ's love and God's provision over and over and over again. And uh, just truly grateful for what he's done in my life. Mm -hmm.